I'm Sarah and welcome or welcome back to my crochet channel. Today's video is step two in our Santa and Elf pillow. On step one, we crocheted up our front and back of our pillow. The Santa and the Elf are stitched exactly the same. You're just using different colors of yarn. The Santa one, of course, is red, black, and gold. And then the Elf one is green, gold, and red. Now, if you want all the information that you need in order to do step one, you can click that link that's right up there. And you can also find this complete crochet pattern down in the notes underneath this video. Now today is step number two, and we're going to put our pillow pieces together. We're going to stitch around the edge. We're going to stuff it, and then I'm going to show you how to make that nice big shell stitch that's going to go all the way around our pillow. So to complete our pillow, what you're going to need is some white, chunky, or bulky number five yarn, or you can use two strands held together of a medium weight number four. I chose to go with white because I want to make those big shell stitches to make it look like snow. Because when I think of, of Christmas and Christmas time, I think of a white Christmas. We're going to be stitching again with our K hook, which is a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And then you're going to need a needle just for weaving in ends, and of course, your scissors. And don't forget, you need either a 12 by 12 pillow form or some polyester fiber fill or some sort of stuffing that you want to stuff your pillow with. So we have our two 12 by 12 inch squares made. And what we're going to do is we're going to put Santa on one side and the elf on the other. And we want them to be facing out. So we're going to put them on top of each other. We're going to line up those corners. Santa on one side, elf on the other. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn it and we're going to begin stitching across the edge of our pillow. We're going to stitch around the three sides, then we'll stuff it, and then we'll close up the bottom. So we'll take our crochet hook and go right in that corner of both of our pillow pieces and pull in our white yarn. Now I'm choosing to use white, but if you want to use a different color, you certainly can. All right, we're all snugged in now, and we're going to evenly single crochet up the side. So we'll go in some of the stitches here and some of the stitches here, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through both loops. And you want to be careful. You want your stitches to be nice and close. There we go. But you want to be careful not to pull it and not to um, bunch it up too much. You want it to be a nice, even row of single crochets. And we'll just single crochet up the side evenly. And it's real important that you do go through some of those stitches and be careful not to go through too many of the holes because you don't want to have any gaping holes on the side of your pillow. Oops, lost my loop there. All right, so I'm just going to continue working up the side of my pillow, stitching through both the front and the back, sewing them together. I have evenly single crocheted up the side of my pillow, stitching the front to the back. One thing I do want to uh, remind you of is you want to make sure that you line up your belt from your Santa belt to your elf belt, and that will help keep you on track, okay? And so now I'm at this first corner, and I'm going to stitch three single crochets right in this corner. And that's going to help that ease around 
that corner nice and neatly and smoothly. So I've got three single crochets in that corner and now I'm going to stitch across the top. And across the top is going to be nice and easy because we have stitches to stitch in. So we can go right in that stitch there and right in that stitch there and stitch our single crochets working right across the top of our pillow. And then once we get to this corner, we'll do the same thing and stitch three single crochets in this corner. I stitched across the top, stitching again the front to the back, and then I again stitched three single crochets in that corner. Now we're going to turn our work and we're going to repeat what we did on this side. We're going to evenly single crochet, making sure the belts are lined up all the way down to this corner. We'll go ahead and stitch our three single crochets in this corner and then we'll stuff it before we finish it up. So I've stitched the three sides evenly with single crochets, placing three single crochets in each of those corners. And now what we're going to do is we're leaving our yarn attached. I'm going to grab my pillow form now, if you're using stuffing, go ahead and stuff it. But I'm just going to slide my pillow form up inside. Make sure those corners aren't getting curled up in there. There we go. Put that tag in there. All right, and then I'll turn this over and go ahead and stitch it closed. All right, so I've got my three single crochets in this corner and I'm just gonna work across. And this is on the bottom where we started with our chains. And so we can just stitch a single crochet in each of those stitches working all the way across the back. And we're closing up our Santa and Elf pillow. So I've stitched across, closing up the bottom of our pillow, and I've already got one single crochet in that first stitch there. So I'm going to stitch two more. One, two, and then I'm going to join to that next stitch, and I'm going to just chain one. All right, now this is how it's gonna look with just that white trim. And it's kind of cute, but I wanna add that nice, big shell stitch to it so it looks like snow. So after we joined, we chained one and instead of continuing around, I want you to turn your pillow so that the Santa is on the outside. All right, and we'll weave that end in later. We're going to single crochet in the first single crochet. We're going to skip two and then in the next stitch, we're going to stitch five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Five double crochets in that next stitch. We're going to skip two single crochets and then single crochet in the next. Now, one thing to remember, there's some green yarn sticking through there. One thing to remember is that when we did the sides of our pillow with the even stitches of single crochets, there was not a set amount of stitches. And so when you get back around, you may have to do a little adjusting. All right, but this is the repeat single crochet, skip two, and five double crochets in the next stitch. Skip two and single crochet in the next. 
And this is going to give us this nice big shell stitch. There's four and one more is five. Skip two and single crochet in the next. Now, when we go around the corners, we don't do any extra stitching. We just keep going with the single crochet, skip two, five double crochets in the next, skip two, single crochet in the next, and repeat working all the way around the edge of our pillow. All right, so I'll just keep going with my big shell stitches all the way around the edge of my pillow, and I'll meet you back over here to help you understand how you can adjust it if it doesn't come out right. And it usually doesn't because of the size of our pillow, we did not have a set number of stitches. So I continued working around stitching my five double crochet shell stitches, skip two, single crochet, skip two, then five, double crochet shell stitches working all the way around my pillow's edge. Isn't that beautiful? I just love how that looks even on both sides. Let me turn it over so you can see how that looks. Isn't that pretty? I just just love that. All right, but this brings us up here where we're getting ready to finish up with our last shell. <clears throat> so here's my single crochet. I'm going to skip two and stitch my five double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, now I have one, two, three, four stitches there. I'm going to skip two and go ahead and single crochet in the next, but that leaves me one extra stitch. So all I'm going to do is just join to that first shell stitch. All right, now, one thing you can do if you're short a chain, or I'm sorry, short a single crochet, you can just skip one single crochet here, and that will bring you up closer. If you have too much room, you can do like I did and basically skip that last stitch. You just may have to adjust it a little bit in order for everything to fit, because again, we don't have a set number of stitches on the sides of our pillow, and you can count them if you want to, but to me it's just easier and quicker just to do it this way and make that adjustment towards the end. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn. We're going to weave that in with our needle. And I'm just going to go through some of these stitches and fibers, make sure that's nice and secure. And then I'll do that again with this other one as well. I don't want that ruffle on the edge coming out as I just know my grandkids will probably be playing with this. All right, there's one and let me weave in the next one. And then my pillow will all be finished. This is a super fun project because we're using thick yarns that work up quickly There we go. And I love the idea of having the elf on one side and Santa on the other. All right. Isn't that adorable? I just love it. Santa on one side and elf on the other. And now our pillow is complete. We can set it up for the elf or for the Santa or make a couple of them and set one Santa and one elf. They're super fun, super cute. And I'm actually thinking about doing another one in some different colors. 
the chunky yarns work up great and quick and again if you don't have your chunky number fives you can substitute with a chunky number six your pillow will be just a little bit bigger and if you don't have a chunky five or chunky six you can use two strands of a medium weight four yarn and it should equal out about the same all right so elf on one side santa claus on the other Ooh, i cannot wait for christmas now Thank you. 